quite exotic looking, aren't they? Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, come on, hear me out. Look, they're not normal, are they? You have to call them something. An exotic's not necessarily a bad thing. Weird, on the other hand. They're not weird. Come on, Alison. They are a little bit. Anything to draw attention to themselves and make people feel uncomfortable. Look, things have changed. This is the way society works now, okay? You're just gonna have to accept it. No. No, I don't. And I tell you for why. Because that's my right as a human being. What long for? They have rights themselves. They already have rights. What? Look, this is the world we live in. Yes, they are weird, perhaps exotic. Yes, no one had heard of them years ago. And yes, they do draw a lot of attention. So what? Some people hate them, some people love them. Get over it. No. No, I won't. No, people keep saying, oh, it's just a passing phase, it's just a passing phase. Well, it isn't. All right, it's a fashionable phase. It's a statement, a disease. And it's not gonna go away. Well, I Bob's an aficionado when it comes to ducks. It means he knows his- I know what an, an aficionado means. All right, calm down, little bear. Don't little bear me. Do you know how condescending that sounds? All right, love. Oh, for Christ's sake. Anyway, one eye Bob saw this documentary on Argentinian lake ducks. Now, the Argentinian lake duck, they aren't no ordinary ducks. They are now. These are the Dirk Diggler of the duck world, so to speak. How do you mean? These little fellas are packing under the hood 17 inches. What? Hard to believe, I know. Thanks for sharing. You know, one eye Bob was sectioned last year. I was going for a rough time. He ain't one eye Bob anyway. And he wears a patch because he wants to be like Captain Jack Sparrow. Today's our anniversary. You bring me here. Why me and Domi? That's what I said. Oh. You can pack that in. Greasy Lil's placed third in Lancashire Bakery of the Year 2009. I remember that face. Stacy, innit? Yeah. Now you've been being Paul. You haven't changed. You have? Yeah. I've lost a few pounds. <laughs> You're telling me. So, uh, were you really just trying to hit on me then, Mr. Footlong? That's it. <sighs> That's that face. You were always such a string noodle. Yeah, you were no prize pig yourself. What? Absolutely huge in college, you were. You've got some nerve calling me, Tubby. Lady Blubber, just because your belt's no longer the size of the equator. And for your information, it's Lewis, not Louis. Do you want a drink? If you're offering. 